Hello everybody, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, then welcome. Um, I post one to two new videos every week all about biblical encouragement, mom life, and crafting along with me as I build my small business. So today, um, I am actually going to be tackling a wall mural in my daughter's bedroom, which is right over here. And I'll show you in just a second where we're going to be painting and what I'm going to be painting. So I will try to insert a picture here for you of kind of the inspiration behind this wall mural. I kind of want to do a half sun with the rays coming out um, in a kind of like a mustardy yellow color is what I'm aiming for. So I picked up the paint yesterday at Canadian Tire and um, yeah, I thought I would tackle it today. It's another Wednesday, so children are at their grandparents' house and I have the house free. So much easier to do something like this when they are out of the house. Um, I will show you again in just a second where I will be painting this mural. It's more of a narrow space that I'm working with. So the half sun will be a lot more of a skinnier tall shape as opposed to wide. So I might just have to adjust first. Um, how I'm going to go about painting that. Of course, I'm gonna be starting out drawing on the sun with pencil so I can make sure I have it the way I want it and then go ahead with painting. I decided to just freehand this painting. Um, I kind of want it to look whimsical and imperfect. So I'm not even going to be using a ruler for the rays coming out of the sun. I just want to simply freehand it and make it look fun and imperfect and childlike for her room. She's <clears throat> She turned two in September, so I'm kind of slowly turning her room into more of a toddler room and less baby-like, um, less nursery. So, and then eventually where her crib is, of course, a big girl bed will go there. And I just think that the sun transitions well with that. It'll become more of like a playroom instead of a nursery. So yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, then follow along with me and we will paint a sun mural. Okay, so the color that I picked up is called Basket Weave from Canadian Tire from the Premier line. And these were actually the two swatches that I had. And I ended up going with this top one, which is called Basket Weed. It's a really true mustard yellow, kind of with a peachy color mixed in there. Again, it always looks different on camera, but um, that's what I ended up going with. And then I noticed after the guy had mixed it, um, they always put a little swatch on the top of your can for you and then they dry it so that you can see that it's obviously matches the sample that you picked up. Um, and it looked, <laughs> it looked a little bit different to be honest. And again, it's hard to show you guys because it always looks different in the camera, but it like, it just looks a little bit lighter and almost has a green tone to it. So. I don't know if that's just my eye and it's of course the tiniest swatch on there ever so it's very hard to tell but I'm gonna go ahead with it and just trust that it's going to look good and not like some weird yellow green color so we'll see we're in this together right so here goes the moment of truth we're gonna open the paint can and hope and pray that it looks yellow, like a yellowy mustard, not green. Whoa. Well, she's yellow. Hmm. It's going to be hard to tell. Right now, it doesn't look, 
of course, again, in the camera, it looks like it. In person, it does not look like there's any green in there. So that's a good sign. And you know what, I'm just gonna, it always is darker once it dries. We're just gonna go with it. Let's just go with it and see, see what happens. <laughs>
Okay guys, the mural is done. It turned out honestly so much better than I thought it would. Um, and the color is perfect. It is a true mustard yellow. Um, most of it has dried now so I can see that there's no green in it, thankfully. And I really love it. And here is the final result. It's complete. I love it. Yay. It's, I think this is probably like my favorite project I've done in this house yet. I truly thought it just wasn't gonna turn out like this, especially because I was doing it free-handed. So I'm, I'm super pleased. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy I ended up going with the skinny rays. I was, as I said in the beginning of the video, I was going to do like where it's thinner at the bottom and then goes wider at the top. And I think that just would have been too much for this room. It's the smallest bedroom in the house. So I didn't, I wanted it to be a big mural, but I didn't want it to overtake the room either. I wanted it to complement the room. So I'm really glad I went with the skinny rays and it looks a lot more boho, um, which is the style I was going for. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and coming along with me as I painted a sun mural in my daughter's bedroom. I know that she's probably going to love it. Um, let's just pray that it stays looking nice and doesn't get all scratched up or crayon on it. Who knows? She's two, so <laughs> it's possible. Um, yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, just remember to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy this type of content and you would like to see more. Feel free to leave a comment as well if you would like. And as always, you can subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.